Hello and welcome to the Above Ground Pool Builder. My name's Dave and today I'd like to talk to you about winter damage in above ground swimming pools. What can be done to save an above ground pool from winter damage? So we see these pictures and videos all the time of pools that have suffered horrible, horrible deaths from winter damage. And people often confuse winter damage with how a pool is closed. Yes, it's important to close a pool the correct way. And there's a lot of videos and a lot of explanations on good explanations online on how to do this. You know, we'll link up a few in the description box below to let you know how to close down an above ground swimming pool correctly. What I want to talk about today is when you get to early springtime, late winter, early spring, that's the time the damage is going to happen if you're going to have damage, okay? So first of all, it doesn't happen. It might happen to, you know, 1% of the pool population or if we have a really bad winter like we did a few years back, you know, it can happen then as well. But what happens is you get these really warm days in early spring and the ice that forms during the winter time, it forms thickest on the top of the swimming pool and it's thick on the sides but as you get to the where the wall meets the floor and inward the ice isn't as thick and when you have these real warm days early springtime and the ice melts quickly it'll melt there first and then the weight of the ice on top of the pool can just push right down and stamp the pool liner out this is how a lot of people lose their liners winter damage lost liners in the winter time other damage that can happen is when the weight of the cover gets too much and the cord that holds on the cover collapses the top of the pool. This is shown in the video example you're looking at now. To avoid something like this, all one has to do is monitor their pool and if they see pressure being put on, to let the cord in. Better to have a, a debris filled pool than a, a collapsed pool. Another kind of damage that can result is maybe the top will stay intact, but what happens is the bottom of the pool wall all the way around will bow out right at the very bottom. You go up about a half inch and then it bows out you know like the wall has been stamped down and it's got a bow all the way around it this results in the pool needing a brand new wall so what you want to do is monitor the the weight on top of the pool and when you see it getting too you know too great simply let the cord in what you can do to replace that cord is when you close the pool is you put on water bags to hold down the cover so when things get too heavy the water bags will hold back quite a bit of weight but if it gets too heavy they'll fall right in so this way you don't have to cut any cord a less often tried trick is to lower the water by about a, you know a, th a full third you know having two thirds or even half I've seen pools with half the water in them and the trick is to let all the debris of fall come down and you clean off the entire pool and I say early December you lower your pool by a third and then you cover it loosely do the water bags and then you'll be all set is this a hundred percent no it's a suggestion just like everything we're talking about today we hope by showing you this today that you get a better understanding of winter damage and above ground swimming pools okay so that's going to be it for today thank you for listening watching and we look forward to seeing you over at abovegroundpoolbuilder.com